Hi, hey, Kathy, with three minute piano lessons here. So let's continue on. We've been doing uh, first and second inversions, really zeroing in on the second inversions. And now I have one for D major. Now, if you've been paying attention, I really didn't do a worksheet for the key of D for first inversions. And the reason was, is because I'd actually come up with a song. I put it in a song version. It's called Sunset. And so I wanna just review this song. Now, just so that you don't freak out that I didn't provide first inversion work, work out with the key of D, uh, D major, in my second inversion practice in D major, which comes with this video, you will get the one chord and the first inversion and the second inversion, just like I've done with all the other worksheets working in the second inversion. So I like the pattern of feeling the one chord and inverting that one chord then to the first inversion and then moving to the second inversion and then actually playing the one chord again just an octave higher. So in uh, Sunset, let's quickly go over this. I actually put it on the board because uh, this would be like a one chord on D. I just didn't put the A but it still spells out a one chord. It's D and I put the X there to remind you that's a sharp. So instead of F you're playing the half step up, which the black key is F sharp. Now, um, so there's your D and F sharp, and then to invert it, I put the F sharp on the bottom. There's the A, the third interval there is on the bottom, which I've covered on recognizing first inversions, and then that D is on the top. So now this is a two chord that's actually in the second measure of sunset. So I have the E and G, so that would be, uh, if it was blocked there, it would be E, G, and B, but I only put E, G there in the song. And then to invert that, I put the E on the top, just as the same pattern. This one uh, is actually the five chord, and that's in measure three of the song. See, I'm helping you learn your song. A and C sharp, and then C sharp on the bottom, E, and the little pinky up on the A. So the A goes to the top. And now this one I included because it looks a little different, but that would be the F sharp on the top. That's in measure five. I prompted you to put finger four on the F sharp. And then, of course, finger one on the F sharp on the bottom there, finger two on A, and finger five on the D. So um, that's why I didn't give you a full workout on first inversion, uh, a worksheet, because Sunset was your worksheet. It was just a more fun way to learn it. And uh, so anyway, that will get you going and get you prompted in that. And remember to review your scales. Remember to uh, keep practicing and you'll, you'll grow and you'll learn in your playing.